place seems to be attracting the gunk. It must be bursting with energy. That elevator shaft seems like a good bet on where to head next. Everyone loves putting important stuff at the top. Hmm. Gotta be a way to access it around here somewhere. <sighs> so neat and tidy. Funny. If I had seen this place when you first arrived here, I would have considered it beautiful. Now it all just feels sad. Harry? Bex? Are you there? is an energy mine, but way bigger. All the other mines must push their energy through here, too. Bex would pee her pants if she saw this. Since I'm just wasting your time. That's not what I meant. It's what you said. Time. You waste our time and our resources. 
consent? I just can't believe you set out on this crazy mission without my consent. We're supposed to be a team. How can we be a team if you don't trust me? Why should I trust you when you keep messing up the plan? We didn't come here on a rescue mission. We came here to, to survive, to get things straightened out, but you keep twisting everything up. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You not looking beyond your own nose. And when I try to explain, you dismiss me. It's not that I don't believe you, but you do this. We have to own problems. Bex, the radio's cutting off. If you're not gonna, Lee, I might as well just. Bex, Bex. There's a lot of gunk out there.
happened? Uh, where am I? Damn, my mask's broken. Probably from tumbling through that damn pipe. Bex? Oh, please be there, Bex. Guess it's just us now, Pumpkin. Bex! Damn it. I hope she's okay. I need to make it back to camp. I can't stay out here with faulty gear. gunk this agitated around energy pipes. It's like it's more aware of me without the mask on. radio's back up, she'll be there, right, Pumpkin? Oh, jeez. Talking to myself again. Just keep moving. No other option than to keep going. I even thinking? Stupid! The gardener has all the power in the world. How do you fight against that? Ronnie, it could have been anything, a comet, a reflection. <sighs> she wouldn't do that. Not my Bex. No way. <sighs> Much better.
this is the future of this place. These patches of life will be swallowed up by the gunk. You know something, Pumpkin? We should have just gone straight home. Bex must be sick of cleaning up after me. Like, when I crashed that transit shuttle and she took the blame, or, or when she stayed with me all night after I lost my arm. I'd still be paying my way out of that contract if it wasn't for her. Or, or back to the garden. Uh, at least it's a direction. Bex? Harry? Anyone? I hope there's something here. You poor thing, shriveled, just like everything else around here. And you were so close to that energy. What if... The room with the giant red beam. I've I've seen it, B but I can't get back in. <laughs> No, 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 don't go. Oh, Bex, where are you? Maybe. Maybe I can get the radio working if I make it up there.
thought maybe... maybe you left. We had a vote about it. The result was two against one. So we went looking for you. I've been such an asshole, Bex. I should have trusted you. I... It's all right, Robbie. I shouldn't have kept this from you, but... We missed a few payments. Not, not just a few. We, we might... We could lose money. This whole thing has gone way out of hand, Bex. I wanted a change, an adventure, not to... risk us. You know, we roamed that wasteland for hours tracking you. All that corruption. Look, I am worried about Bunny, but you were right. We can't let this place become another barren rock. There's a way to stop it. Actually, there might be. We have to return to the garden and enter the central shaft. Tricky thing is, I don't know if we can get back in. Right. It's gonna take a while to get Bunny ready again. And there are drones patrolling regularly. You sneak on ahead, scout for a way in. I'll catch up. You could... sneak in with me? In these shoes? <laughs> Roger that. Good thing I set a beacon back in the old city. I... Yeah, that... That makes me happy. I'm just sorry I couldn't do anything to save your kin out there. I didn't even know their name. I did see some life still hanging on out there. Small poles of resistance. We really should invest in some proper boots for you. Hey, don't knock the croc. You get the job done. Ah, but at what cost? Hey, Ronnie. I'm glad we're okay again. I was so worried about you braving the wasteland alone. Harry told me about how it was all covered by an endless jungle. Before. You would have loved it. That sounds wonderful. And, Bex? From now on? We're in this together. Thanks for helping with getting me out of there, bud. You're a real champ. 